Whoa, what happened? Lineker looks like he wants to just hop the fence, man. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And people, I am so excited today because I want to show you guys, for all you guys that don't know, that you could do open weight classes in this game. And I want to show you how to do it. So you go to tournament mode, go to weight class type combined, and then you go to weight class, go to open weight. We're going to do it on pro, <laughs> not legendary. I was practicing on legendary. Man, it's tough. We're going to do it on pro. And for all you guys that don't know, some people were saying that they added a new arena. It's not the case. I live in Toronto, and the arena that the UFC fights in, it's called the Air Canada Centre or the ACC. They changed the name. They were bought out by Scotiabank, so now it's called Scotiabank Arena. Yeah, you're probably looking, <laughs> shaking your head because it doesn't have the same ring to it. You know, We would say to our buddies, yeah, let's go to the ACC to watch some UFC. Now we got to say, let's go to Scotiabank Arena. It just doesn't sound the same. But yeah, set this all up. Push start. And I already did my research, so <laughs> it's going to be Stefan Struve. Let's toggle the stats quickly so you guys can see my brothers and sisters around the world. So it's Struve. So everybody's clumped together in one roster list. So you go to Struve. Uh, let's see. Where is he? I think I went the, I went the long way. <laughs> A lot of fighters, man. Look at that. Much respect to the UFC for adding so many fighters. So Struve is seven feet tall, and the shortest fighter in the game is Demetrius Johnson and um, John Lineker. So I'm not quite sure who to use. If I should use, I think I'll use Demetrius. Should I use Demetrius Johnson? I think I'm gonna use John Lineker just to switch things up. But here we go. Took the scenic route. Struve should be coming up right here. There we go, finally. So he's seven feet tall, 265 pounds. And John Lineker is five foot three. <laughs> yeah, can you believe that? Five foot three. So a seven feet tall guy against a five foot three tall guy. This is gonna be crazy. And it reminds me of the old UFC days. For all you guys that don't know that, you know, started watching the UFC when they had weight classes before then. Look at that, five foot three, 135 pounds. We're gonna get started here. Um, before then, it was open weight classes, so it was actually a tournament, man. Back in the UFC, UFC 1, there was an 8-man tournament. UFC 2, they went with 16, and then UFC 3 and 4, they went with 8 and so on. But um, I'm just going to autofill here. But uh, it was crazy. It, it wasn't all about weight classes. It was all about technique and heart and for all you guys that were have been living under a rock hoist crazy was like 170 pounds and he took out everybody took out guys that were above his weight class like ken shamrock he was just all muscle you know chemo remember that chemo fight and remember when he fought dan severn i remember when he fought dan severn in the final and he had dan had him on his back and hoist put his legs up and gave him a nice little triangle choke and nobody knew what he was doing even the commentators remember Jim Brown <laughs> the uh, NFL Hall of Famer he was one of the color commentators they didn't know what he was doing we all didn't know what he was doing but then all of a sudden Severn tapped out and some people thought he tapped out because he was exhausted but Hoist gave him a nice triangle choke another amazing fight back in the open weight class days my favorite fight was Emmanuel Yarbrough who was a 500 pound sumo wrestler and he faced a, uh, Keith Hackney, one of my favorite old school fighters. And Keith Hackney was a Kimbo Karate style fighter. And in the beginning of the fight, Yarbrough, who was like over six feet tall, you know, he was a giant, over 500 pounds. He was chasing Hackney around. And it was like Tom and Jerry, man. <laughs> And Hackney was running around the whole fight. At one point, Emmanuel did catch him and pushed him up against the cage. And the cage door opened. And the commentator was like, oh my god, the cage door opened. The cage is broken. Or he just broke in the cage because he's so strong. But then as the fight went on, 
Manuel starts to slow down, and Keith Hackney uses footwork and hit him with a nice crazy overhand. A couple of overhands. I remember like it was just yesterday. But then at one point, Keith broke his hand, and instead of quitting like some guys would, he started swinging that broken hand like a baseball bat and just started swinging and swinging and swinging. And it got to the point that Emmanuel Yarbrough had to tap. He actually turtled up and tapped. If it's on, I don't know if it's on YouTube or where you could find it, but if you buy UFC 3, you'll see it. But it was the craziest fight to see a guy that had no chance and uh, it looked like he had no chance and he took the victory. But if you guys that, uh, if you guys didn't know, Emmanuel Yarbrough did pass away, so rest in peace to him. But um, later on in that night, Hackney couldn't continue because he had a broken hand. So it was a tournament style, so he fought his first fight and then. He just couldn't go on to the semifinals. But anyhow, I'll stop talking. We're using Lineker. I'll try to fight twice. See if we can get the win. But this is going to be hard. Look at the size differential. Oh, my God. I sound like, uh, what's that guy, Jim Ross or whatever. I'm going to chop the legs down. But look at him. He's just playing whack-a-mole on his head. Oh my gosh. And I'm thinking no uppercuts, because how am I going to reach him? How am I going to reach him? Whoa! Whoa! Good on him for. Remember, this is on pro, man, so this is not going to be easy. Oh, I hit him! You guys saw it, man! He should have gone down. Man, this is not going to be easy. I don't know why I keep on trying to uppercut him. He, his, his legs, like go-go gadget legs. Causing him to back away. Whoa, what happened? Lineker looks like he wants to just hop the fence, man. Oh, man, out of instinct, I keep on going for that uppercut. It's going to be one twos. Holy smokes, this is crazy. This is what makes the game fun, how they they listen. EA listens. People were asking for this. Oh, I got my first uppercut in. Come on. Oh, oh no. I was going to say, I thought I denied it. Let's see. Let's see if he does anything. This is what we want. This is what's going to get us points if I could flip him around. But that's 265 pounds. Whoa! Look at Lineker! Is he going to hip toss him? Oh, I'm going to try to throw him. It's like Hogan against against Andre the Giant. Oh, my gosh. The computer's just too good. Ah, oh, he just doesn't have the mustard to do it. What a round. Let's see. Yeah, we didn't win that round, but it was close. It was close. Lineker holding his own, showing heart. Oh boy. Yeah. Got to keep our distance. And a nice kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. There is nothing fun about being on the receiving end of that, I can assure you. It's like he's stepping on an ant. Side leg kick lands there. These guys are swinging. Lenniker's not backing down. Landing a good series of strikes here. Jeez. No. Oh, he's gonna pull a hamstring or pull a groin, kicking that high. 
Jeez. Holy smokes. I'm, I like how they don't make it easy. This is exactly what would happen probably in real life. Jeez, I may have to start going for takedowns. This could be it right here. Oh, oh. I got caught with something. Oh gosh, desperation. Oh, but there's pushback. Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> Let me try it. Let's try one more time, man. Let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. Oh, that was not pretty. We're getting right into it. Sip it of my coffee quickly. And here we go. We got to employ a different strategy. Can't be as reckless. He got tagged there. Good the clinch. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by <laughs> you can tell you can tell I'm not talking, I'm concentrating. You can tell I'm concentrating, I'm not talking. Tags him with the left hand. Oh. Nice. Oh my gosh. Well that'll quiet the storm shot blocked by Lennox. So it's going to be one twos. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving Gotta forward. Adjust. I know he's confident Let's in go. his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. It's just the distance is just too much. To establish that jab. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Just over three minutes now to go. Can't get near, get, can't get close to him. The takedown is not there. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, doesn't get it. And he doesn't want anything to do with it. What? He teleported back. Just over two minutes to go in oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Looks like he's trying to Whoa. <laughs> back to the jab now. No good. Gets it. Oh my. Is there. This is where we own the Oh no, I went the wrong way. No. But this is where we have to We gotta utilize that double leg. Jeez. A run. Whips on the straight right hand. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, that was a big left. What? How is this is come on. He's raiding? What is this? Mortal Kombat? <laughs> At least we survived that round. We did not win that round, but if we can get it to the ground, man. Can we get it to the ground? That's the question. That's the old question. Let's go, big boy. Let's go, big boy. Not big boy. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Did you see how his body, like, <laughs> like, it was weird. No, see this computer, computer's smart, man. That punch will work right through the door. 
She's like stepped on my knee. This is crazy. Huge uppercut misses. Well, the Struve is just towing around. Maybe I should have used um, Demetrius Johnson. Oh, I should have. Every missed kick, I'm going for a takedown. Let's go. You gonna throw? Try to utilize my jab a little bit. Oh! Oh, come on! Oh! It always looks like he's gonna do it, and then he denies it last second. Oh boy! No! Oh my gosh! Oh man! Oh no! Come on! <laughs> but anyhow, I guess I'll stop the video, <laughs> try it out. Maybe next time I try this, I'll put it on normal, not on pro. It's not easy. It is not easy. Strew versus Lineker. See if you can get the victory and send me the video. I'd love to see it. But anyhow, people, I'll end off this video. Have a great day. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome.